here, season two, week one, real game one of the Mike Zimmer takeover in New York. And we're going up against Today, the Miami Dolphins. From Hard Rock Stadium in Miami, Florida. It's week one of the NFL on EA Sports. Zimmer going to try to turn around the career of Sam Darnold as well as some other key members of this team including John Ross Leonard Fournette we are about 15 or so miles northwest of world famous Miami Beach as we are set for football at Hard Rock Stadium. Can we Gardens. get it done? Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you know. Good old Mike Gasecki definitely becoming a star down there in Miami. The Hopefully, we can. Uh, Get things done here week one. With my good friend Charles Looks Davis like we're going to kick it off to Miami to start things off here. Had a little more pep in my step this morning. I know you did as well. Here we go. Yeah, when you went out for your five-mile job, you were flying. You did it in record time because you were psyched up about this game. But let's be frank about it. No more radio shows. No more podcasts. No more just predicting what's going to happen. Here come the Dolphins. Let out by Tua Sagabailoa. Heading out to lead this Miami offense. And what I'm looking for from him today, the things every quarterback is looking to do. Lead his team to a victory. Doesn't matter whether he's throwing it. Let's see what this Jets team can do. Whatever he has to do it. Defensively on drive one. That's what he's trying to accomplish. Here's the first carry from Matt Breda. And from the 25, they work this to the 29. A gain of four. Ooh. At the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back down and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run. But the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. Pick up a two. So we're going to force a third down and four. Coordinators love to the blitzers. Freed up the D lineman to make the play. Out of the gun on third down. Here's Tua. Oh, Everson Griffin picking up his first sack as a Jet. He's actually going to wind up splitting that one with Jerry Tillery, also getting his first sack as a Jet and causing a three and out on the Dolphins' first drive. Oh, spin move! A good return there, call it 13 yards. And the Jets will take over first and 10. The USC product, Sam Darnold, the number three overall pick in 2018, ready to go. Here's the Jets take over on offense. I love how he exploded on the national scene his redshirt freshman year when at the beginning of the season he was not named the starting quarterback, but when USC was struggling. So here we go, Sam Darnold starting game one of season two. I think he has to know this could very well be his last season here in New York. Uh, Mackenzie Milton is pushing him on the depth chart. Even though in Madden terms, Mackenzie Milton is very low rated. You know, I, I think he's pushed him in preseason with play. And uh, just hoping Darnold can step up for us this year. Gerald Everett wide open. Picking up the first first down and a little bit more. Taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. So the 14 yards actually takes him from 143 to the other for first and 10. Now Leonard Fournette. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it. It's All really right. Nice There's Waddle for his first NFL catch. 
picking up another first down. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked in turn to the side. Seven yards there at a first down. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Looking for White out of the backfield, and he picks up another first down. A play. I'm going to look for John Ross speed on the outside there. And he's not there. Trent Taylor wide open over the middle. Picking up about six. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and you can pick up a lot of yardage. Here we go, the first third down for the Jets this season. James White wide open, picks up five. Is it enough? It is. And it's going to be a handoff to James White picking up two. And it's going to be another third down. And I think it's time for a little slant cheese. Trent Taylor wide open. And he dropped it in the end zone. So we're going to come away with three here on the first drive. A little disappointing, but we'll take the points. Quentin Williams on third down. Coming in there from the defensive tackle position. Taking down to uh, forcing the punt. It was a fumble, but it was recovered by Miami. Now your defense has to go on to the field and try and hold. Instead, they get a little breathing room. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. And this one hits at the one, continues on into the end zone. For a oh, Buffalo was silly to let him go as a punter. The horses, really good. So here comes Darnold leading out the Jets for drive number two. Currently up by three. Picking up six on first down. Definitely glad we didn't get a hit there. Because um, you know Darnold doesn't have that special skill to, to run a little faster when he's trying to escape. Oh, Fournette picking up the first down. Seven yards there and a first down. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football. In that situation, it's almost a tendency breaker. Darnold on first down. There's Ross wide open. Huge catch and run by John Ross for his first New York Jets touchdown. New York is going to be up 10 to nothing here on Miami. Griffin getting in there for his second sack. Fumble recovered by Taco Charlton. This Jets defense is just on fire right now. Sometimes you forget the number one thing take care of the football. Leonard Fournette right now averaging about five yards a carry, helping to take some of the pressure off Sam Darnold in the passing game, which right now is reeling off a big, big touchdown by John Ross. 
And when it all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a game. Here we go, third and inches here. Got to pick up a first. And they do. Oh, went for the big play for Taylor. Incomplete. He was looking for Trent Taylor there. And that'll bring up second down. There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try to throw some air under it and hope you connect. We've seen this play before. It went big last time. There's Everett picking up nine. But must end another third down situation here. They're up against a third and one situation. They go back to the ground. And Fournette picking up the first down and more. Before he's brought down. Ten yards is the pickup. Good enough for a jet first down. Just about every coach we talk to says the crowd shouldn't affect us. That shouldn't be an issue. And then the next breath they talk about taking the crowd and taking them out of the game by picking up first downs and keeping them at bay. I think we just saw an example of that there. Everett's got a chance. Brevin Jordan's going deep as well, so let's see what's open. Jordan open! Wide open! Touchdown for the rookie Brevin Jordan! From Sam Darnold. And the Jets are going to be up 17 to nothing. On the backs of a Darnold, second touchdown of the day. He took the punt with about a minute to go. Got a decent return by Johnson. And we're driving currently up to the Dolphins' 29-yard line with 26 seconds to go. John Ross, come on, pick it up! Oh, almost. John Ross has two receptions for 80 yards. And that's definitely a good a good day for him compared to what he's doing with the Bengals right now, currently in real life, which is sitting on the bench, unfortunately. Uh, a little bit out of the reach there of Trent Taylor, and it's third down. I want to pick up at least a few yards here to feel comfortable with the Will Lutz field goal. So let's see. There's Trent Taylor wide open. And only picked up nine. So we are going to take the field goal and go up 20 to 17. There goes Johnson picking up 22 yards on the return. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to her. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice Ooh, good play by the lineman. Stopping Fournette before he could break that for big yardage. On first down. From the 35 back to work on second and four. There we go, John Ross picking up 11. He's at 90 yards for the day. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. So first and ten. And if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in for a second half blowout material. Waddle's second catch for big yardage. Picking up about 15. 
Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. It's a game and while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. They'll run with Fournette. Oh, Fournette picking up eight there on first down. carry to set them up with a second and three. But no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. They'll run it again with Fournette. And able to get about three as he's taken down right at the 20. Javon Gaccio. They're pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the third down here for the first time in the third quarter. Well, on this drive, really. And there we go. Fournette picking it up again. I can see Fournette easily having a 100-yard day today. Here's a run by James White, picking up five, six, actually, on first down. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive, because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense get a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. Buying time to his left. Had to just get and rid of it there. And another third down. And Darnold takes off. Pick him up. Oh, and he fumbled it. No. That is a bad time to fumble. And that is going to cost us some yards. Actually, some points. Arnold fumbling in the red zone. And it gets returned by Miami for six points. Definitely not, not great on Darnold's part, but he was trying to get the first down. And in the red zone again, score 20 to 7. Everett's open for eight. Well, they say seven. To bring us to the 18-yard line. Leonard Fournette is two yards away from rushing for 100 overall in this game. Just looking like a beast. There it is. He's got it. 102 rushing yards. Well, this has been a long drive. In fact, he's eaten up a good chunk of the third quarter, which is precisely what you want when you're playing with the lead. You control the football, you control the clock, and impose your will. There's Trent Taylor wide open, and he drops it in the end zone. Oh. Trent is going to find himself not being the slot receiver if he can't start making these catches. And got there and popped it free. Oh, the linebacker just watching the ball. Third down and ten now. James White open, picking up the first and a little bit more. Bringing us down to the three yard line. Gonna try to punch it in here with Fournette. There it is, Leonard Fournette, his first touchdown in a Jets uniform. Helping keep the pressure off the passing game. And we're gonna be up 27 to seven here down 26 to seven in the fourth quarter uh funny story about the 26 i know last time i said it was going to be 27 to seven i simmed the extra point they went for two and got intercepted so 
It is 26 to 7 with the Dolphins driving in the red zone. Two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Oh, it's up in the air. Incomplete. And there's their touchdown. Gonna close this one with two within 12. If they can make this extra point, which they do easily. So they're going to go for the onside kick here. If we do recover, they still have their three timeouts. So we have to at least pick up a first down in order to run this one out. Trent Taylor there on the hands team. May not have hands when it comes to catching touchdowns, but recovers the onside for us. And we're that much closer to closing this thing out. Uh, giving some handoffs to Justice Hill just because Leonard Fournette did go over 100 yards with a touchdown. And instead of risking injury, we'll just give some handoffs to Justice Hill. Again, they run with him. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. So here we go. It's going to be third and five. This is an important third down. If Miami stops us, they still have a chance. If we pick it up, we're going to be able to close this one out for Jets win number one on the year. Trent Taylor open, catches it for a first down and more. And that is going to be how this one ends. We'll do one more Justice Hill handoff. Then it's going to be a few knees, and the game is going to be over. Oh, now they don't want us to. They want us to go for it here. So I'm gonna snap the ball with a second to go. Justice Hill almost in on that play. And now we're going to take a knee at the two yard line. And the New York Jets are going to take the victory here over the Miami Dolphins 26 to 14. Defense definitely played well, keeping us in it. Our offense actually gave them seven points on that Sam Darnold fumble. But we did enough to come away with a 12-point victory here in week one. Darnold, two touchdown passes, no interceptions. The one fumble, of course. Um, other good players, Leonard Fournette, 109 yards on 21 carries and a touchdown. I believe John Ross, four receptions, 90 yards. Now it's the front line guys from the first whistle. Yeah, I tuned you out in the preseason. There we go. Sam Darnold, 18 of 26. For 269 yards, so for two touchdowns. Jets, hey, you get a win, you get it on the road. You can't ask for much more than that uh, to start. Yep, the Leonard Fournette, 21 attempts, 109 yards, and a touchdown. Meanwhile, for the Dolphins, 
They obviously fall to 0-1. Gerald Everett definitely had some big catches there in that one. Uh, five catches, 48 yards. John Ross, three catches, 90 yards, and a touchdown. Trent Taylor trapped two out of his possible five catches for the day. Came up with three for 41. Jalen Waddell in his NFL debut, two catches, 24 yards. And Brevin Jordan also in his NFL debut, one reception, 16 yards, and a touchdown. Uh, blocking, we did not give up a single sack today. Leading us in tackles, looks like it was Blake Cashman and William Jackson, each with six. Everson Griffin signing paying off dividends here in week one, two and a half sacks. Tackle Charlton got one, Quinn and Williams got one, and Jerry Tillery, of course, sharing in Everson Griffin's first. So that is how this one ends, guys. Looking forward to coming back to you in game two. See you there. And we are going up against the Buffalo Bills, who are also 1-0. I think this is going to be a really tough game. Um, Today. Overall wise, they are the better team by I think six overall points. But let's see if Mike Zimmer can keep this team rolling here in week two. John Ross looking like a beast last week. Almost 100 yards on three receptions and a touchdown. $50 cab ride, that is not, not cheap, but I guess if you live in Manhattan, that's cheap. Josh Allen looking pretty good last week, 350 yards, two touchdowns. An interception, yes, but still, that's pretty good numbers. Let's see if this defense can put the brakes on this Bills offense. Those looked like pretty good numbers from Singletary last week. Ooh, I don't know who he saw there. Let's see if we can get Gregory Russo his first sack of his career. Oh, ho, ho. Ooh. I thought that was about to be an amazing interception or catch, but it was incomplete, so we're going to get the ball. Here we go. Not a big return there, but a couple yards. the Jets offense and the man that will be captaining the ship at six foot three it's Sam Darnold. I remember talking with a scout about him and he said you know I love the fact that he was a high school basketball player. He does so many things with his legs to keep plays alive. He did the same thing as a basketball player, kind of a point guard. I know I did notice last week we won we did forget to turn injuries on. They are on now. So injuries could happen that could shake up how this team works this year. That's complete to the tight end Everett. Five yards on the catch there brings up second down. I know the game has a tendency to 
have linemen get hurt often, so that could shake things up. But let's hope most of our guys can stay fairly injury free this season. It'll be a pickup of a couple and it leaves him with a third and three. It's a gain of two. Brings up the heavy set out there. Three tight ends in the formation for third and three. There we go. Pick up the first down. Fournette coming off a 100-yard game last week. See if he can keep that going this week against a tougher Bills team. Looking at Waddle, wide open. Picking up some big yards there for a first down. That's already more than what he had last week. They did not give him the first. This is uh, looking for Waddle here. He's open. Waddle, his first touchdown of his career in his second game. Already matching his receptions from last week. More yards than last week on the first drive. And the Jets are going to be up 7 to nothing on Buffalo. So here we go. Buffalo driving here on their second drive in the red zone. Down by 7. And we're really looking to, to get a stop here. Thank God uh, Cole Beasley got a little discombobulated there could not come up with the catch oh I don't know if there's any way to stop that Allen to Diggs great in real life great in the game Ah, uh, I got the shed with Tillery, but we went the wrong way. Come on, defense. Oh, it's... Oh, that was on me. I went the wrong way on the tackle, and they got a touchdown. Alright, here comes Darnold again, leading them out. After the long touchdown drive we just saw, you wonder if maybe that's after a successful first drive. Can we do it again? Oh, James White, you gotta make catches like that, man. 
It's now second and An incomplete pass leads to second and ten from the 25. They'll run for the first time now with James. There we go, making up for the drop. Getting nine out of the ten yards we needed. That's the kind of run that gets everyone excited on offense. And you know, oftentimes they are stacking the box. And it's and that's the end of the first quarter. It is a tie ball game. No gain on the play. To get away and outside of the pocket, but no actual yardage there on the catch at second down. But that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. There we go, Waddle again. There he goes. That's a touchdown. Jalen Waddle, second touchdown of the game. Already a hundred yards, I believe, on the day. And we're gonna be up fourteen to seven. So that's a heck of a respawn run. Alright, here we are, fourteen all getting the kickoff. That'll be taken about a yard deep. Oh come on, break it. Oh I was hoping he was gonna break that one. This one is looking like it is going to be a shootout today. I don't know if we're a team built to win the shootouts, but we're going to find out. I know if I'm reading everything here, it looks like they're playing a lot of zone defense. That's a hold. That's going to go back. Duvernay Tardif gets called on the hold. Bring us back to second and 12. Trent Taylor making his first catch of the game. Hopefully the first of many. Find the holes where guys are available and put the ball in the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed. There we go, Darnold. Oh. Taking a shot, but picking up 21 yards. Certainly making his presence felt in both the pass and the run game. He's having an impact. Yeah, his first carry of the game right there. He had hurt him with his arm now. He's showing that he can shuffle the puppies as well. First down, here's White. And he's got this down to the 35. Another good game. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. That was good tough running. Definitely may have to start giving the ball to James White a little more. Looks like that's the formation that's getting us more yardage on the ground. And this one anyways. Completion, so here's second and four. Now Fournette. There we go, Fournette. Big pick up there. Getting us back into the red zone. Quarterback, so he decided, hey, I'm gonna hand this off. Got a good gain out of it. And you know you need good blocking up front in order to gain yardage, but every one of these RPOs. If you do it right and they do the same, whether it's handed off inside or the quarterback. Oh, uh, Ed Oliver going down with an injury, stopping the clock. And in this case, fooled him with the inside run. Hey, 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 watch the right, watch the right. Rebound, rebound, rebound. 49, 49 to Mike, 49 to Mike. Oh, 
Oh, that was a bad one. For a second there, I forgot they are running a zone. And that was almost picked off. Ooh. Tried to throw it up. But we're going to have to settle for a field goal on this drive. And it's good. So we're up 17 to 14. I think this one is going to be a shootout. Well, after a William Jackson interception at the Buffalo 39, there's Everett. Finding a seam in the zone. Picking up seven. There's the two minute warning. This has been a quick first half. Definitely a good game so far by both teams. A reminder coming up at halftime. We'll head to Orlando. Standing by there, Jonathan Coachman. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. There's John Ross. One handed. Oh my God. Oh my! There by John Ross. That was amazing. There's Trent Taylor picking up a first, I think. Though he did go backwards a little bit. I think they gave him the first. There's Ross. Oh! Bad time for the first interception of the year for Darnold. It's just a little off, and that's an interception. It's all uh, Darnold. Just didn't see the safety being there. At least not the second safety. Interception of the Bills quarterback. And we're getting the ball back. Taco Charlton wound up going down with a bruised shoulder on that drive. But that's okay. So the ball down to the 16 here for first Can Darnold finish off this drive? No interceptions this time. There's Taylor bringing it down to the three. James White touchdown. The Jets are going to go up 24 to 14. Turnovers leading the points this time. Still up 24 to 14. Taco Charlton came back from his bruised shoulder to get his first sack of the season on Josh Allen. And you know, definitely good to have a plethora of pass rushers here in order to bring down these quarterbacks. Fournette not having as good of a day as he did last week on the ground so far. Could still change, but he's not getting the yards that he was. James White has definitely stepped into a role running the ball has one of our three touchdowns today. The other two are to Waddle. There you see James White showing off by he should get the ball a little more in this game. There we go, Gerald Everett, picking it up, keeping the ball moving. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first 
down. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory, right at the 40. Now it's Donald. There's Ross. Oh, Ross had a huge catch early in the game, but could not make that one there. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go for the 40. Oh. There we go. Now Fournette's picking it up. Oh, nearly another interception. I didn't read the linebacker. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. That's going to be complete. Let's keep letting Gerald Everett get open. I'm okay with that. I'll take it. I'm going to try this. I haven't, it, it's definitely going to be tough to get in here. There's no one we're going to run. Yeah. All right. What do we do here? We're going to try the slants, see if this can work for us here. Trent Taylor wide open. Finally catches one in the end zone and gets his first New York Jets touchdown. And we are going to be up 31 to 14. End of the red zone after the Gregory Russo sack. At this point, we're just trying to put this one out of reach. This Jets team is just working together real well. John Ross wide open. That is, I think, his fifth reception for... There you go, fifth reception for 54 yards for John Ross. And we know Waddle is out there working. Oh, there it is, Leonard Fournette pushing it in for a touchdown, his second of the year. And we're going to be up 38 to 14 here in the third quarter. As we intercepted the ball. <laughs> I think that's the rookie, number 59. Picked it off, but I'm pretty sure he was down. But they said he fumbled, and they gave the ball back to Buffalo. Let's take a look. I'm pretty sure that that's an interception, and he's down by contact. So the rookie getting his first interception of his career. And it couldn't have come at a better time as they were driving down in the in the red zone. So we get the ball. The New York offense taking over for their and we are going to keep this thing moving. Tremaine Edmonds there to bring him down. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where there'd be extra defenders in the box. Uh, I think it still thinks we're on defense because it says our drive goal is not to score a touchdown. And he's taken down, but now he gets this across the 25 yard line. So I assume that means if I was to go downfield and score a touchdown, it's going to say we fail the drive goal? Yeah, 
Hands it off out of the gun. And he'll get about three here as he's out to the 30. James White. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead positive game. Josh Allen trying to get the butt the Bills back into this one, but I think it's too little, too late. Three turnovers. And down by 24 points. I've kind of sealed this one away from me. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. And when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. Jeremy able to get this one across the 35 before he's brought down. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Gerald Everett picking up some first downs for us. Definitely that safety valve that we need when we just need a couple yards. And completing the connection. Four down, a first down carry. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. That's just a pile of box. Stand up and make a play. It was only a three-yard run. But for both sides, they had to walk away from that field like, okay. I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. They'll run it again with Fournette. And he'll take it across midfield and in the Buffalo territory. Leonard Fournette about to have back-to-back 100-yard -back games. I don't know the last time he did that. Definitely hasn't happened this season with Tampa. Um, but he's looking like he's back at LSU right now. being the lead horse here in New York. Definitely, definitely a good signing by us. There it is. Over 100 yards for the second time in as many weeks. Leonard Fournette. Through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. On second down, here's Fournette. And tough sledding. He'll get maybe a yard. Stop short of the 35. He's brought down. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big time play? There's John Ross getting open, picking up the first down and more. Just as confident with him doing that as they would if they tried to run the ball and run the clock out. They'll get this down inside the 10 for a pickup of about three. Jerry Hughes. He's had success on this drive, but not on this play. So here we go. We're coming down to the two minute warning. This thing is about out of reach. Well, it's definitely out of reach. And, uh,. You know, we could score again here, potentially, before this one is over. Has been a one affair. So it's Jets football as we get you reset here. And no doubt what they're looking to do is just salt away the final couple of minutes and escape with a win. There, oh, that should have been it. Nine yards on the play there, and it'll set them up first and goal. So I know what I'm going to do. Couldn't get it earlier, but we're going to try to get it this time. This is Maje P. Ryan at fullback. That's tough. I want to try one more time. I really think he can get this. There it is, P. Ryan. Touchdown number one in a Jets uniform. Another Bill got injured, and we're going to be up 45 to 14. And that's probably going to be the final score. The Bills' final drive here. This one's all for pride. I, I can tell you the pride between Allen and Diggs is really good. 
Um, Josh Allen has thrown three interceptions, but it's only got a mark of two. It's going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Interesting. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts. Um, so in this one, Darnold had about 280 yards through the air, three touchdowns, did throw one interception, but overall I think that's a good day. Waddle caught two of the touchdowns and had over 100 yards for the first time in his career. It's definitely been a big game for Waddle. Play fake to Singletary, and now it's Allen. On the left side, he finds Beasley. All right, the Bills are officially out of timeouts here. I was trying not to talk through the whole thing because that was a pressure drive. We're just trying to. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. And he'll get this underneath to Singletary. That's going to be it, I think. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14. One last shot. And it's over. The Jets take this one up 45 to 14. Um, overall, the defense again stepping up in this one. And I'm definitely really proud. Put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow. So for the Jets, it's a win here in their home opener as they move to 2-0. And, oh. and they will hit the Just road. Looking at the stats. On the Indianapolis Colts. Again, Darnold 21 of 27 they'll for 272. Three touchdowns and an interception. Uh, rushing Leonard Fournette took the ball 23 times for 116 yards and a touchdown. James White took it six times, 45 yards, and a touchdown. And Samaje P. Ryan, three times, a touchdown. No yards, though. On forwards, receiving six catches for John Ross for 77 yards. Six for Everett for 59. Four for Waddle for 101 and two touchdowns. Four for Trent Taylor for 35 yards and a touchdown. And James White, one reception, but no yards gained. Again, no sacks allowed by the offensive line. Defensively, C.J. Mosley led us with 11 tackles today. Sacks, we had one for Everson Griffin. He's now at three and a half for the season. One for Taco Charlton. I believe that might be his second. Gregory Russo's first sack of his career. And then a share attack between Blake Cashman and Tyreek Johnson. So that is how our day wound out. Darnold looking really good running the offense. Leonard Fournette looking like he's back at LSU. And I'm really excited to see where this team continues to go. Um, so for Code Man Blue Gaming, thanks for watching.